the empowerment of women requires the support from both the government and individuals. The former deputy governor through her foundation recently distributed a grant of over 1 million naira to vulnerable and micro-business women from rural communities in Ojo local government area. The support is to enhance their businesses and enable them remain economically relevant. Women constitute a greater percentage of the population of any community. They are believed to be mostly affected by the economic downturn as a result of their vulnerability. Experts have suggested that continuous empowerment of women in business is a sure way to get the country out of recession. That formed the basis for the second empowerment program organized by the Sarah Debussy Soson Foundation. A total of 50 rural women engaged in micro-businesses selected from different communities in Ojo local government, Iba, and Otoawari LCDA, were empowered with a total of 1 million naira to support existing businesses or start new ones. This, according to the foundation, is to make them economically self-sufficient to their families and their communities. Some of those we have invited here today are those who have no business that they are doing right now. We had some... Um, Skill empowerment, vocational training for some women sometimes ago. So some of the women are here today. So we are giving them money to start the business they've learned from our foundation. The Lagos State Government, through relevant ministries, have been carrying out empowerment programs where thousands of women are trained in various trade skills. Mrs. Sarah Soson gave her assessment of the state government's efforts. If I want to rate our states, in women empowerment, I want to give them over 100%, even in times back. This is one area they've really uh, spent so much, they've invested so much, because all the governors, starting from a national leader, Shwajab, Ahmed Tinubu, they believe that women, they keep the home, they keep the nation. And because of that, that women must have something doing, not to be a liability to their husbands. And looking at the vocational school center we have over, you see that 80% of the um, students or whatever they call them are women. Beneficiaries of the grants were also taught how to save and basic customer relation skills to help them sustain their customers. Whatever they have given to them now is their capital. It's not what, it's not their money. And they should regard this money as being a borrowed money. When you are being borrowed something, you are, are you not supposed to return? So this money is a borrowed money. They should not go into their capital whenever they are spending. They should keep part of it and save for the rainy day. I am very, very happy for the program that our mother is doing for us. She used to do it from time to time, but this one is exceptional. We really appreciate her very well for what she's been doing in our midst. The foundation hopes to grow big and expand this help to more women from other local government areas in Lagos State and nationally.